So if you could jump in a time machine, talk to your 21 year old self, what would you say? Don't take your early years too seriously, but have a plan for what you want to do in the future. Well, I... When does early years stop? 25? <laughs> for me, it was a bit later than that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I left school and I literally floated from job to job to industry to industry. Um, and I didn't start in accountancy until my 20s. Um, you know, I, I now take on apprentices that are school leavers, you know, they're 16 or they're 18 they have a very clear defined career path um, and I think that's that's probably something I regret not having. Did you go to age. university? No. No. Did your partner go to university? No. No, so you off your own back? Yep. Yeah. Um, you know I left school at 16, I went into an MVQ and a travel agent, you know I've, I've been in um, hospitality, I, I've, I've literally done anything you can imagine, mm. I, I've done at some point in my life yeah. um, because I, I simply didn't know or I didn't have the inclination to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Um, would you have been a business owner regardless, do you think, if it wasn't for accountancy? I, I think I would have been. Yeah. Um, but what that industry would have been, well, I don't know. It, it could, could have been, been anything. anything. Yeah. You know, I, it could have been hot air balloons. It, you yeah. know, it, <laughs> it, it could have been a burger van on the side yeah. of the motorway. I just don't know. But So what do you love about it the most, being a business owner? The freedom to attend my son's special occasions. So, you know, if he's got a Christmas performance at his nursery coming up and being able to leave the office and, and go to see those kind of things is really important to me. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, there's, there's nights, last night for example, I'm still up at half 11 at night doing work. Um, but being able to balance my work life and my personal life in the way that my personal life needs is, is well, it's, your, it's your choice, isn't it? That's yeah. the difference. Is if you choose to work, you choose to work. If you choose to not work, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to a certain extent, you know, they, particularly within within my industry, you know, you, you get times where you've got no choice. You have to work. Mm. Um, but know, out, outside of hours, though, even yeah. so, you know, if if the work's not done, but you're on deadline, you know, if you've got to file something with HMRC yeah. by the end of the day, you you're staying up till midnight to do it. Yeah. That, that's the nature it, of the game. What it is, yeah. Um, but then in the same night, I can take the following day off and recover, you know, go to the cinema, do what I want to do because it's my business and yeah. I'm not having to ask permission. Are you in a completely hands-off role in theory? Like, obviously, you've mentioned a lot of times um, you still work very, you're very involved. But I, I don't tend to do the day-to-day -day accounts work anymore. Um, I find that because I'm being pulled in all sorts of different directions, I don't have the dedicated time that a lot of our clients need. Um, you know, clients like to know that on a Monday their accounts are going to be looked at. Because I'm being pulled kind of left and right, I don't, I'm not able to give that dedication. Um, so whilst I do spend a lot of time speaking with clients, it's usually when they're picking up the phone or when they're popping in with cakes or yeah. chocolate. That's when you take five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> or ten. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much.